Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm doing a book haul. Um, the books have piled up a little bit recently so um, let's get straight into it. Uh, the first book I want to talk about I'm really excited about and uh, if you've been watching my channel you know that I've really been enjoying Scythe and Thunderhead uh, by Neil Shusterman. I have just adored those books recently, they've both been five stars. And so um, when I was offered the chance to get um, one of his new books which is Dry which is by Neil and Jared Schusterman. Um, I just said, yes, please, thank you very much. So thank you to the publisher for sending me this. This is due to be released on the 4th, I believe, of October. And it's, as, it, as the title suggests, it's about when um, there is a drought. Alyssa, our main protagonist, is so used to the drought and this lack of water. And then one day the taps um, stop completely and it's about this fight for survival and teaming up with a band of people to try and um, find water to save themselves and I think it sounds really good and I hope that it is as good as Scythe and uh, Thunderhead because if it is then it will be another series that I will really enjoy reading. The next book I picked up purely on the recommendation of a couple of people actually but mainly um, a lovely lady that I met in Cheltenham she said she just read this book and explained to me a little bit about it and and I just thought it sounded brilliant. And that is Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. Um, this is a very short book. It's only about 150 pages long, um, but I thought it sounded really interesting. It's about a family who go off and do these reenactments. And I believe, um, yeah, we've got Sylvie, who's a teenager and her parents and her are living in a hut in Northumberland as an exercise in experimental archeology. span Her father is a difficult man, obsessed with imagining and enacting the harshness of Iron Age life. Haunting Sylvie's narrative is the story of a bog girl, a young woman sacrificed by those close to her and the landscape both keeps and reveals the secrets of past violences um, and ritual as the summer builds to a harrowing climax. I've heard this is really good, um, it's only 150 pages so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go. The next book I picked up is Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. I don't know an awful lot about this, I know it's around the um, three different characters. Um, we've got Marion who is the new girl, Zoe who is the pariah and Val who is the queen bee. Um, and it's about their stories all coming together in this island of Sawkill Rock um, where kids um, talk about this sort of monster at parties and around campfires um, and where girls have sort of disappeared from for decades and um, it says uh, stolen away by ravenous evil no one is dared to fight until now so I wonder if these three girls are going to be um, coming up against something and um, unraveling this mystery and fighting for their lives I don't know um, but it sounds intriguing enough that I wanted to pick it up Next, a book coming out on the 18th of October is Odd One Out by Nick Stone. This is the same author that wrote a book called Dear Martin, which I haven't read of as of yet. Um, I was very kindly sent this by the publisher, so thank you to them for that. Um, it says Courtney Coop Cooper dumped again. Normally I wouldn't mind, but right now my best friend and source of solace, Jupiter Sanchez, is, ignore is ignoring me to text some girl. Ray Evelyn Chin assumed new girl would be synon I assumed new girl would be synonymous with pariah but Jupiter and Courtney make me feel like I'm right where I belong also I want to kiss him and her which is perplexing Jupiter Charity Sanchez the only thing worse than losing the girl you love to a boy is losing her to your boy that means losing him too I have to make a move and it's one story three sides no easy answers so it's going to be a story of a love triangle but where everybody likes everybody or different people I think it's going to be a hot mess if I'm honest but I'm really looking forward to reading it and seeing what I think the next book I picked up because I saw it on Jesse the Reader's channel and I thought it just sounded really cool um it is Fake Blood by Whitney Gardner this is really heavy and really quite thick it's a graphic novel inside is full of bright uh punchy colors all the way through this sort of artwork that I really like although it's more sparse in text than I was expecting I thought there was going to be more text but we'll see um, and this is says it's about the beginning of a new school year AJ feels like everyone is changing but him he hasn't grown nor has any exciting adventures in the summer like his best friends he even has the same crushes harbored for years so AJ decides to take matters into his own hands but how could a girl like Nia Winters ever like plain vanilla AJ when she only has eyes for vampires 
When AJ and his crush Nia are paired up for a group project on Transylvania, it may be his chance to win her affections by dressing up like the vampire hunk of her dreams. But soon enough, he's got more of Nia's attention than he bargained for. When AJ learns, she's a slayer. In her debut middle grade graphic novel, Whitney Gardner illustrates a coming of age story for anyone who's ever felt too young, too small or too average. I think this just sounds really fun. So I'm looking forward to this one. The next book is very exciting and that is Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I loved the first book in her series Strange the Dreamer. Um, this I didn't realise, for some reason I thought this was a trilogy but it's actually a duology so this will wrap up the series so I need to get to this soon. Um, I'm really excited to dive into this one and see how she wraps up the story that started with Strange the Dreamer and it's quite a big one. She doesn't shy away from writing a good 500 page book so uh, hopefully I shall be reading this one soon. The lovely Janet this month sent me From Twinkle With Love by Sandea, uh, Sandea Menon. Um, this is the same author who wrote When Dimple Went Rishi which I really enjoyed. This is a story about a um, aspiring uh, filmmaker Twinkle and um, she gets the chance to showcase her um, her films in an upcoming film festival I believe and she um, gets a chance to get closer to one of her long time crushes so this no doubt will be a really nice cute contemporary romance story maybe with a little bit more of an edge to it I don't know we'll see and the final book that I picked up recently is A Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan. I've seen this on quite a few booktubers channels recently and I've started to hear some really good things about it. It's written over a number of years. It says a tale of family, sacrifice, love and magic. Brittany 1821. After Grandma um, Ursule gives her life to save her family, her magic seems to die with her. Even so, the Orchieres fights to keep the old ways alive, practicing half-remembered spells in hope of a revival. With each new generation, the struggle continues, and when World War II looms, magic is needed more urgently than ever, not for simple potions or visions, but to change the entire course of history. So this is going to go into my World War II um, books that I'm currently looking at reading. This is a bit of a spoiler for a video coming up soon. Um, yeah, so I'm, I will let you know what I think of this one when I've finished it. So that's some of the books that I've picked up recently or been sent uh, very kindly by publishers. Uh, keep an eye on my channel for reviews of these. I try and wrap up um, most if not all of the things that I'm reading and let you know my thoughts. Uh, let me know if you've read any of these and what your thoughts were on them and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now booktube.